so devices we have discussed now for the making the connection what we need cables right so in the enterprise networks now it is not a matter of concern but in the older times let's say if you come across some older routers like this okay so that time we, we used to have two different types of ethernet cable okay one is known as straight through cable and second is known as crossover cable so whenever we wanted to connect different type of devices what kind of different type of devices like router to switch switch to pc so that time we used to use straight through cable okay and whenever we wanted to connect same type of devices like switch to switch router to router then we used crossover cable okay but as of the present scenario it is not a matter of concern why because right now we only go with one type of cable that is your straight through cable okay right now we are not using the crossover cables but sometime let's say to go to some enterprise and their old series routers like this 2911 series are used in that case you might face this problem okay like i faced this personally once that i did all the configurations in the router everything was correct checked multiple times still i was not able to have communication between two routers i used two routers not the pc and i was not able to have the communication why because i forgot the concept like that time it didn't come in my mind that okay i need to use crossover cable i was using straight through cable to connect two routers now straight through cable can be used to connect different type of devices not same type of devices okay i connected them with them made all the configurations checked it multiple times still no communication okay and finally i was so tired i came to a decision that okay the port is damaged okay still i didn't come to the conclusion that okay i need to use crossover cable okay for a few days i struggled with this and then later on one day i was just sitting like this only and i was thinking okay what could have gone wrong that time it came into my mind i should try with a different cable and i tried with the crossover cable and then it finally worked so like this see in the new routers it will not create a problem if you go across new routers it will not create a problem but if you come across old routers so sometimes we okay right now i said like this is not a matter of concern as of now so we will okay we'll go with the uh, straight through cable only so that time this concept will not come into mind that okay should i try with crossover cable okay i tried multiple straight through cables all straight through cables same problem why because i needed to use crossover okay so finally i used the crossover and it worked so for connecting same type of devices similar type of devices crossover cable was used and for connecting different type of devices we used straight through. but right now whether it is same device or different device only straight through okay and you also know them with some other name like patch code these are also known as patch codes okay now your task is you have to see what is the difference between straight through and crossover like how do you identify what is a straight through cable and what is a crossover cable? okay because this will be helpful when again if you come across this kind of situation this will be helpful so you may you like you will be able to understand okay what is the difference between straight through and crossover hmm? yes you have to know the color code so tomorrow you tell me okay then in the earlier times we used to use the serial cables to connect two routers if you wanted to connect two routers we used we needed to use a serial cables right now again we are not using these cables because of their slow speed the cable speed was usually sometimes 1.4 4 mbps highest is in 4 mbps and right now we cannot use this many this much slow speed this is the 2g speed kind of thing okay so we do not use these cables okay then console cable this is a really important cable okay that we'll see inside our lab also okay because see whenever you purchase a new router your router will not have anything there will be no configuration and if you see in front of this router there will be a console port also with the blue color there will be a port that will be having this kind of sky blue color. Is it there or not? 
Check on the router. You have the router. Is there any port? There is a console port. Right? There is a console port. So what happens for the console port? We use console KB. Okay. And generally the color will be this only. Okay. This color will not display your console. So cable will also be almost same color, but sometimes you will in the cable, you'll find different color sometimes, but mostly in the routers and switches and everywhere. In the switches, there is so they are on the back side of these switches. Okay. That I'll show you in the lab. So the console cable, this is basically used for the initial configuration. Let's say you have purchased a new router. So right now there is no IP address in this router, right? So how to access the router and do the configuration? So for that purpose, we'll be using the console cable for the initial configuration. Later on, we will be accessing it through the IP address, either using the telnet or SSH. Okay, these kind of protocols we'll be using to access and do the rest of the configuration. But mainly, this is just for the initial configuration. Is this clear? Okay. Then we have the fiber optic cable. Fiber cables right now very worst use, right? So why fiber cables? So fiber cable transmit large amount of data at very high speeds. Okay. This technology is therefore widely used in the internet cables. So as compared to traditional copper wires, fiber cables are less bulky, lighter, flexible, and carry more data. Now I have a question here. Why your fiber has more speed than your ethernet cable? So the data is transferred to like, like, like. Yes. In case of fiber cable, the signal is what? Light signal. Okay. And in case of Ethernet cable, copper cable, it is what electrical it is? signals. Electric signal. Right. Now, flow of electricity depend on resistance. When you are using conductors, there is some sort of resistance, right? So that's why you have less speed in case of copper cables and in case of fiber what is the speed of light anyone remembers speed of light 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second that means 3 lakh kilometers per second in one second a light signal can go several times around the world and that's why we are having so fast communication we are able to have video calls without a glitch. Why? Because the communication speed that is through the through fiber. Right now we are having fiber broadbands, right? So that's why it is possible. Okay. In case of 2G, we never used to have these video calls. And if you have the video call, if you are contacting a different country, then they will speak after that you will listen, then after you will reply. It used to take hours to communicate. But right now, this is flawless. Right. This thing is clear about the cables. Okay. 